and welcome back to my channel summer is upon us and i was going to do a summer reading recommendations video but then again i found that to be a little bit boring because i do believe i have done that video several times over over the past years so instead i decided to do a tag video which has to do with summer and which contains six questions that i'm going to answer for you and hopefully you will get some great summer reading recommendations out of this list Six questions. The very first question I have on my phone and it is about start of summer. This one is to pick a book with an attention grabbing first sentence. So I guess these are not really questions. They are more of themes that you have to try and cover. Nevertheless, a book with an attention grabbing first sentence. I know exactly what book to go for. Lullaby by Lila Slimani. This is the French version. But this book comes with an amazing first sentence, which is, let me just find it, Le bébé est mort, which means in English, the baby is dead. And I find that to be hugely intriguing and a sentence that makes me have to continue reading and find out what has happened. I love those kinds of books that start with an amazing sentence because that makes for a great opening. Second question, which I guess is not really a question, but... Okay, so Siri just started. Please go. No, no, no. The second question is too hot to go out. Pick a book for a day in. I think that would have to be a book that is pretty short and simple and that you can read and be entertained by, but also maybe finish doing that day. For that book, I have chosen The Persian Pickle Club by Sandra Dallas. This is a book I've read twice because it is so simple, but once you finish it, you realize that there were so many layers under the surface that only appear towards the end. It's about this group of women who gather once a week, I think, over summer to knit. They gossip while knitting and they enjoy their teas and their pastries. It seems like a very cozy setting, but believe me, this book comes with its surprises and I love it for that. It's a short book and it's a book that I think is perfect for summer, both because it's short, but also because it's set during summer in America. Question number three is about a summer road trip. Pick a book you would take with you on the road. I kind of like road trips and I think that the perfect book to take with me on one of those trips would be Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov because it's a book I have read several times and I love it even more every time I read it and it's a book that I know I'm going to love so for that reason I would be fine with taking it with me on a long road trip. So if you don't know this is a classic about our main character who is a grown-up man but who falls in love with a 13 year old girl. Maybe she's even 12 by the time he meets her. And in this book, we are inside the man's head. So we get to hear everything from his perspective. And he tries to argue with us, the reader, and tell us that he is not insane, that he couldn't help it. And that's what makes this book rather creepy. Question number four is called Iced Tea Goodness. Pick a book with a cold setting, which I think makes for a nice contrast in this very hot weather. Here I have a book with a very cold setting, The Sunlight Pilgrims by Jenny Facken. This one is set in a world that is suffering from an ice age. Actually, this world is our world and it's set about four years from now. So that's one of the things that makes this book very scary. We follow our characters who are struggling in this very cold setting and trying to survive and help each other as much as they can. It's a book that will definitely make you feel very cold, even though you are reading it in the middle of summer, I think at least. So it's a perfect book if you are in for a book that will maybe cool you down a little bit. I have two questions to go. The next one is called Nasty Sunburn, a book you've really disliked so far this year. The Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I didn't actually finish this book. I made it about 200 pages in and then I just couldn't finish it. This one is a young adult fantasy and it just didn't grab my attention enough to continue reading, unfortunately. So even though it's a book that's very much hyped, it's not a book for me and that's okay, but it's definitely one of my least favorite books I have purchased and read 
at least partly this year. And the very last question is called Sizzling Read. Recommend one of your favorite books. I had to go for The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, which is set in America in the 1930s. We follow this family who has to move from Oklahoma and go to the West to find better working conditions. It's a heartbreaking book, but it's one of my absolute favorite books of all time. And it's set during summer. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you are enjoying summer. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, happy reading.